Kiri himself couldn't understand why he had mixed feelings for the monster. He looks at his face and always thinks of Elsa. Kiri tried to avoid it, but the monster took him in its arms. Kiri lost control all of a sudden and was on the floor doing sports with the monster. This is just in time for Elsa to come home and see it. She was so frightened by their perverted behavior that she drove away immediately. Kiri rushed after him to explain. He then realized it turns out that during the biological experiments, Elsa had injected her own genes, so the monster looked a bit like her. After that, they decided to go back and kill the creature. But what they didn't expect was that before they could do it, the monster was already dead. Looking at the child she had raised with her own hands, Elsa cried out in anguish. Then they dug a hole to bury it, but they had underestimated the monster's power. Before the hole was dug, the monster came back to life. Not only had it become stronger and more agile, it had changed from a female to a male. It pounced on Elsa and pinned her to the ground. 